Hi ladies, happy week six, we made it. Um, so I uh, just a quick background, um, my project has been focused on human resources and um, how the department is going to be able to keep their hybrid workforce engaged. Um, so this has been a really great opportunity for me since I am a, I'm majoring in human resources. Um, my mentor is actually the, my boss for my internship. So I've been able to create a really great connection um, with her in understanding uh, what would work, what wouldn't work. We're able to really collaborate and bounce ideas off of each other, um, especially for the focus of the project. Um, this, the work that I've put into this project um, is definitely going to be able to continue to evolve after this class, so 100%. Um, and the big thing, because uh, human resources is all about collecting data, analyzing it, kind of seeing what's working for other companies and how to consistently improve, consistently evolve, um, because as we all know, the workforce consistently changes. So it's going to be very prominent for the human resource industry to keep up with those changes and make sure that their companies are um, evolving as well, because there's not going to be any millennials, Gen X, Gen Z, none of them are going to want to work for an outdated company. So it's going to be very important for human resources to keep up on those trends, keep up on ways that engagement, how are companies keeping the engagement alive within the workforce. And it's going to be especially important because many of the business owners after the pandemic have realized that they're doing just fine, if not better, having um, half of their uh, workforce work from home becoming remote, especially with their sales staff. They're realizing that they there's not really a need to have people come into the office. They're cutting back on the supplies because without those people, the company can save. So they're seeing a lot of positive trends that um, human resources industry is really anticipating this hybrid workforce to um, not go away. This is going to be something that people are going to take more advantage of. And if anything, um, some companies might move completely remote. So we're going to have to consistently collect the data, see how employees are doing, how they're responding to certain situations, what are the challenges out there, and what is human resources going to do to overcome these challenges and ultimately do what's best for the company's success and the employee's success as well. So, um, Next steps would just be to continue seeing how the workforce is evolving and what is the data that we're able to collect. Um, I was able, I was fortunate enough to sit in on a couple webinars throughout this process that um, dealing with people that are SHRM certified, um, in addition to uh, speaking with different owners as well to kind of see what's been working out best for them, um, for their company and kind of where their head was at um, you know, having their own workforce be hybrid. Uh, what I would need to do for a continued success with this is um, one of the big, uh, biggest advantages I found was becoming part of uh, different human resources groups on LinkedIn, um, posting some of those questions that I had um, to see how the professionals are handling this new um, day and age has been very beneficial because, like I said, every, um, human resources is a very colorful industry. There's always new ways that you can find the employee engagement, and it's a... Um, it's very important in human resources to collaborate with each other um, and just kind of seeing what was the trial and errors that worked best, um, even maybe some of those errors that other companies made might work out for you if you um, find a different avenue to implement these changes. Um, so um, different kinds of ways that I would imagine myself becoming more involved in the community um, is, like I said, uh, continue doing my own additional research. I sit on, um, there's a lot of different human resources groups on LinkedIn that have um, live news feeds, um, a lot that generate from New York. Um, having a little bit of background in this industry, I do know that whatever compliance laws, state or federal, um, that get passed in New York, they go from New York to Massachusetts and then eventually Connecticut. 
um, catches on and we make those changes as well. So just kind of knowing what's in the pipeline, keeping um, my information, my knowledge fresh is going to be really the way that um, you can become successful. And again, just by making those consistent um, connections with other professionals, either in the same industry as you or even um, just just professionals in the field, it's going to be the best way to um, continue to sharpen up my skills and um, help learn what different professionals are doing to help out this hybrid workforce that, um, like I said, is, is definitely not going anywhere. So thank you so much, ladies, and uh, wish you all the best in your future. Thanks so much.